Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody was having trouble with this file cutting, and I asked for the file. I did not realize she was an Adobe Illustrator user, but she's having trouble. She actually sent me a couple more pictures where it's cutting out. If we look at this in Corel, you can look at a wireframe, and there's some lines that are kind of not, not need to be there on the first layer, on this layer. Um, you know, but if I break the curve apart, it's gonna mess them up, so let's go back. I don't, and in the picture she was showing that she was using this for cutting. And, uh, you know, maybe not every line's a cut line. So what I would like to do is uh, take all four of these. I don't know, I think this is the very top layer we maybe do it last. And I am going to, Make sure they're all hairlines. There's the cut lines. There's what you need to cut, but those lines are still there and can't really, what we need to do is just, well, I got rid of them. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, this thing is like 20 inches big. I wanna make my dust factor 24. And I am gonna take the smart fill tool and fill in she had green on this one. The colors don't matter. Matter of fact, I'm gonna fill them all with um, different colors just so we can kind of put it. Then I'm gonna nudge that down. And then if we left click, right click, and double check to make sure this is a hairline, which is not for some reason, and make that a hairline, I'm gonna send you this file back. So there's that one. Whoop. Don't ever do that with the smart fill tool because um, now it's trying to fill in everything. Always make sure you have the pick tool. So we're going to move that over there. There's our first one. Color shouldn't matter with the exception they're going to tell you. There's something a little bit strange right there. Um, I need all of them. Yeah, there we go. Nudge it down. I'm gonna left click, no fill, right click, red. And I'm hoping, look, see there's, look how many nodes there are. 4,688 nodes, but there's a lot of cutting. We're gonna go ahead and make that a hairline and we'll move that over. There's your second layer. Let's take the smart fill tool. And, and this is a pretty neat layered art. Uh, it would be pretty easy. I'm going to left click, right click. Uh, pretty easy to glue it up. Let's make sure it's a hairline. I'm hitting F12 on the keyboard to get. So there is your three layers. And I'm guessing this is the fourth one. And it's a hairline. So I must be on the right track. Same thing with this elephant. Um, I would, you know, you might think there's an outline there, but there's no outline there, so it can't cut. At least what I know, you know, she, it looked like she was using an epilogue laser, but it's kind of hard to tell by the picture. You know, it's getting late at night, and I really didn't have time to ask her a question. Um, if she's using, is she using Adobe Illustrator, run it straight from the uh, Adobe Illustrator right to the laser? So then we're gonna left click, right click, red lines to the laser, or at least mean cut. So there's the file. Now, the problem she was having is right in here with this one. You can't really change anything because it's, it's a layered product. But what I'm gonna do is have her test a piece. So I'm gonna make a copy of that. I'm gonna take, it's all one group, so I'm gonna take a just a box, and then I'm gonna intersect that box. I'm gonna select them both, and for the one I'm doing this for, since she doesn't have uh, Corel, it probably won't be helping her at all. But then you have that, and you could take that to the laser and see if that cuts out. You know, delete all these, put this to the top right corner of a piece of scrap wood. If it cuts out like it looks, then you ought to be good to go. Uh, if not, let me know, and I'll take I'll take a stab at it. So I'm going to put that off the page, but there's your test piece. 
And I'm going to hit T to put them at the top. And I'm going to put them back on her page. And, you know, unless you have a piece of wood that is perfectly this size, I'd only cut out one at a time. Or, you know, case one messes up. And then you have to recut it. So I'm going to send you this file. I might, just for let everybody else know, I might take a second video and fill these in to see what the layered art will look like. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.